stand a chance. <laughs> hey y'all. Good Monday evening to you. Thought I'd come over here on the other side of the house. I hadn't been over here in a little bit. Looks like I, well, I'm talking to a smart aleck. A smart aleck briar. Good thing uh, these old trees don't grow this fast. This is the one I knocked down probably a week ago. And it's a briar with a name too. Look at that. Come up out of the ground that quick. He's trying to get up there. I'll snap him back. Too long. I'm going to let him alone today. Come out here to check old Yopon Tree Tommy. You have to go back a few videos to watch that. Looks like we got a little visitor. I had to call Jordan out and show her in this one. I hadn't seen many of these. Little green grass snake. Hey, Harry. He's just up there waiting. I don't know. You probably can't even see him. I'm not a fan of snakes, but Ooh, there he is. I don't know what he's waiting on, a little bit of thing. Bird eating him. <laughs> oh, well, we leave Tommy and his pet snake alone tonight. I think got nothing to do with it. <laughs> there y'all. Hey, Melinda, you finally caught it. Hey, Roxanne, how are you? All right. Margaret, good to see you. This whole place on this side still holding together. I had to come check it. I hadn't been over here to... To work on it a little bit other than a briar or two getting away we'll just go ahead and i don't know what i like about these young ones they've got stickers but they ain't nothing to them yep there went that one he'll have to try again another day i guess <laughs> well <clears throat> didn't come on last night blessed with some rain yesterday boy that was great <clears throat> got a little over an inch i believe here my aunt got some down at her place out in woden and and uh, them pea sprouts loved it. They're all coming on strong. So uh, garden's looking good. Gonna go out and get some pine straw for the for the furrows tomorrow. And uh, did some of the less glamorous stuff, if you will. Getting ready for my sister to come visit <clears throat> ahead of our trip. And uh, if I don't get all this stuff put up before she gets here, since I'm coming to decorate, she'll take me to task, I'm sure. No. But uh, starting to get the studio together, that's a good thing. <clears throat> and this evening, I attacked something that uh, is the shed of dread on any old farm place, especially 75 years plus, this whole place. <clears throat> you know, as you age and you live on a place like this, referencing Memo and, and uh, Paw Paw John, and, you, know, you don't expect to pass necessarily, and when you get sick, you're definitely not going to go out and clean up for later. Uh, just trying to get well. Well, as time would have it, y'all all know it if you've been on any old place for any old, any amount of time, you've got that shed where <clears throat> when the microwave goes out, that's where it goes. The washing machine, that's where it goes. Because eventually you're going to take it all to the dump, right? Well, time passes and sometimes that doesn't get done. And uh, hey, Kim, how are you? Hey, Hattie and Pamela. So uh, I braved into the muck of one of the dread sheds today, and uh, whew, it was rough, but we're getting there. It's actually an old wood shop <clears throat> that my uh, Papa John, probably in the uh, late 70s, he was a woodworker. He retired, uh, or he was in the service, World War II, and was a cook, of all things, and a sergeant, I believe. But uh, he worked with wood, and I've still got a desk that I went through grade school and high school with. And uh, he made it right here in this little shop. Of course, the roof's in disrepair. It's on the back end of the uh, cannon shed. And that's where all the old stuff, the old water heater and all that ended up. Well, <clears throat> I got to yanking it. It's ugly. Dread sheds. But it's out. <laughs> it's out, and it's going to... Uh, the little metal yard right up the road here tomorrow so that's uh first step is getting it cleaned out the glamorous part of cleaning up a place right it's all nice to attack a big head to row and get it nice and clean and after i get that cleaned out it's still not going to look good so the reward will be in the long term but the first step is getting it cleaned out right so i guess we could all think about that and try to leave things better than we found them you never know we're not promised tomorrow i found myself here recently and i, I read a uh, way way back 
I know most of y'all have seen it circulate at some point. <clears throat> and it was always instilled in me growing up that uh, you didn't leave your room pretty much until you was uh, dressed or headed to the shower and the bed was made. That's how it was done. Uh, you just, it was a non-negotiable. And uh, over time and being a bachelor and kind of got lazy with it. I mean, who's going to see it anyway, right? Well, I found myself falling back into that habit since I've been here. And uh, roll out of the rack, as they say, and turn around immediately make the bed. And it feels good. You know, you leave it, leave it good. That way uh, you don't have a mess to clean up later. Uh, maybe not everybody's like that, but uh, that's a big deal for me. And it kind of sets a pace for your day. So... Anyway, that is what it is. Yep, dread sheds. Hey, Belinda. Yeah, I'm very, very blessed to uh, have this and intend to celebrate it. I'll show you something. Well, it's going to be hard to see on this camera. But old peas are coming up in mass. Got a little fuzz out there we're going to knock down. I was actually out here working in the rain yesterday. Jordan seeded the watermelons. They're late. I know, don't even start. It is what it is. But they're up. <clears throat> and uh, hey, how are you? Glad you're on here. You were talking about that cat the other day. Well, I think I've disturbed that cat's plans. Because, as y'all know, an old farm like this, especially one that hadn't really been lived in, is a haven for cats with outbuildings and kittens. And Stacy had mentioned about getting it, uh, working with the humane side to get it spayed or neutered. And um, I think we're a little bit too late. Cause after we was after that video i was watching her and i saw another one playing and right over here underneath the chicken house now i've discovered it and i came and looked at it even though i didn't get close and mama cat moved on so it's corrected it for now but found an old armadillo hole and had a litter of kittens in there i guess but uh she she left after that night so i guess i guess she said well folks are living there now i got to find me a, another empty place down woden road to go store my babies <laughs> i wouldn't hurt them but you know the mama cats are pretty protective like that but that's about all the the news on the place this evening nothing glamorous just attacking the dread sheds <laughs> and the boxes in the house still got a few but uh it's going slower because i'm hitting the memory boxes found one last night to share with my sister uh, I'll, I'll wait till Christmas to post that one. I've always made fun of these pajama pictures at Christmas. You know, homemade pajamas. I forgot we had some. <laughs> they were quite something else. And there's a picture of it. <laughs> Good times, though. All right, well, I'll leave y'all the ugliness of the, the dread shed clean out there. <laughs> Got a little different pile there tonight. There's no rocking chair. I don't believe that was my memo's original one. There's one later on, but it's in total disrepair. There's no way to fix it. So, no sense hanging on to it. Move on. She'd tell me to throw it out if she's here. So I did. <laughs> I'm starting to uh, ease toward that cellar and the outhouse, and we'll get all this mowed. Doing a little bit every day with a push mower, and it's getting done. It's not bad when you take a little bite at the time. Chickens are happy. It's uh, safety time for them. That old chicken hawk's been flying around a little bit too much for my comfort. So. He hadn't messed with them, but I'm not going to give him the opportunity either. Well, hey, y'all have a good evening. Uh, the week is ours to own. Make it count. Make somebody smile. I actually uh, did that today. I had a choice of making. They were, my goodness, these briars are getting me. They were a little bit sourpuss and kind of got me in that same mood. And I yanked out of it listening to my own words and we were both smiling at the end of it. All right, y'all be the light. Have a good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow.